Oops. Our next one is C, right? It's number six. So if I look up here, number six is C, which is carbon, right? Right. Uh, if I look at the number of electron rings, remember it's whatever row it's in is how many total electron rings it has since it's in the second row. It's got two electron rings, right? And then the number of valence electrons, remember we count the number of high groups. So it goes one, two, three, four. Remember we skip all these in the middle, right? So carbon is in the fourth group, right? So that means it's got four valence electrons. It's really 14th group, but it's in the fourth tall group. So it has four valence electrons, all right? Um, as we go through. Now, if you're wondering why we never count these, um, if you really want to know, it's really, really complicated, but if you really want to know, I can, I can reach out to me and I can tell you all that stuff. But, um, for now we're just skipping those. Okay. All right. So carbon has four. So now let's talk about how we should draw it or make it. So if we're looking at making the carbon, right, it's got, if I look at the periodic table, I got to figure out, right, how many protons, how many electrons, and how many neutrons it has, right? So this number right here is atomic number, right? That's the most important number on this entire periodic table because it tells us how many protons it has and how many total electrons it has, right? It has six. So I'm going to get my six protons, put them in the nucleus, right? And then I'm going to put, I have six electrons, right? Remember, we got to put them somewhere. Now, I know for a fact that there's two rings and there's four valence electrons. So right away, I can put one, two, three, and I could put four electrons right on the second ring, right? And then these other two go on the first ring, all right? So again, remember, how do I know that I only have two electrons, right, um, in there? And that's because of the fact that when I look at this, right, there's only two electrons in the first ring, which means that I can only put two electrons in the very first ring. It's filled after that. Okay, after that, I have four valence electrons. Now let's figure out how many neutrons it has. All right, since, right, for this one, I have to look at the bottom number, right, which is 12, right? That tells me how many protons and neutrons that I have. So since I already have six protons, I know that six plus six equals 12. So that means I must have six neutrons that go inside the nucleus. And there you go. And that is my uh, picture of carbon.